Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. I'd say that was pretty good. Yeah, and you look there, you can see, and the train does go in between each set of signals. That's absolutely spot on perfect, that's what we want. And then there's a set of signals here. There should be enough room to go in between here as well. So I'm sort of thinking about that. Yeah, there's easily enough room to go in there. So I will pop that one and I'll pop that one. And there isn't going to be room there. I suppose I could remove those and move them up a little bit. A bit of creative movement on those, but I'm not going to. What I am going to do is I'm going to put one in here because there's definitely room here. Uh... One there and one there, like that. So train coming in down that side. And then I come over to here. And there's room for another one in here as well. One here and one here. So they got they've got stops inside the tunnels, basically. I think I think that's that's pretty good. We'll run with that for a minute. Now he's still running at minus five million. That train is costing me quite a bit to run. That train is actually costing me quite a bit to keep running. I'm up to 157 million. So it's it's starting to improve. But he's still minus 4 million there. Which is... It's not ideal, is it? It's not an ideal situation to have where the train is costing me money to run. What about Zorta 777? Zorta 777 is running at a profit. He's running at a 3 million profit right now. Juice MS... Oh, he's, he's now gone up. He's now running at a 15 million dollar profit. And he's got 160 people on board as well. That goes a long way towards me thinking that he's better than he was. De definitely better than he was. Uh, where's the other train? Uh, one more train here somewhere. Zoom out from that one there. And where is this other train? You are just going into the tunnel there. So it's not that one that I'm after. And then you over here is Auto 777. You are running at a profit and... Charles in the background over here. Come here, Charles. Charles is the one that is running at a loss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop Charles. Charles stopped pretty quickly. I'm going to leave Charles just to sit there for a minute because I got the three trains following each other in pretty close succession right into Tokyo in there, and I don't think that's helping. So we'll let that one go over there. We will let them head into Tokyo over here and start coming out again. And then there's the other train. He's he's queued up and waiting to go into Tokyo. That's that's part of the problem here. And I'll wait until he's come out and he's traveling. Now I'll start him up again. So he's now he's going to go into Tokyo. And we've got a better chance of him actually being able to pick up some passengers once he gets into Tokyo in there. So let's go and follow Charles again. Past two trains. So the guy at the front, he's, he's making an absolute boatload of cash. Whereas Charles here bringing up the rear is not making anything at all. I'm up to 160 million, just about. Which is a very good rate of cash to have. But we still need to go higher than this. And I've either got to have... Trains that don't do this kind of speed or extra tracks or we've just got to save up our money and then get lots of trains. And I'm thinking lots of trains is the answer. So you're going to go in there and you're going to take 47 people on board. 48 people on board. That, in theory, by the time he gets down to the next station, should put him running in a profit as well as the other two, which means that the entire line is then going to be running in profit. Just hauling himself into the station now with his 48 people on board with minus $6 million, and that is going to change it round to minus 3.4 million. Nope, 4 million. It's minus 4 million right now. We've got 22 people on board. That was the second... Oh, no, this, both the trains are still running, like, literally one after the other for the other two. Which is still not an ideal situation to be in. Um, but at least this one is sort of bringing up the rear a little bit. So he is, he's going to be able to do something. And you're going to come in there. So we haven't got a huge amount of people in Osaka over here. 
But I don't think I've got a bus service set up in Osaka, and maybe that is part of our problem. I mean, I've got 18 people on board for now. That's, so we're down at minus 2.5 million. We're going to go and grab another load of people here. Not, yeah, I, I don't know if I've got bus service there or not. I am wondering if we should have a road connecting Osaka and the other one to um, Nagoya. If we've got a road bringing up over to here, that might be a little bit better. That might help things out a bit. Uh, we're down to minus 3 million. Minus 2.3 million. 66 people now running all the way to Tokyo. Is that at least going to put this train into a profit? If we can just have this train running at a profit, that would be a really good start. He's already gone... He's, he's down to minus 0.2 million. For some reason that actually went down further. I'm not quite sure why it went... Um, it, it went up a little bit. But now it's... Yeah, see it's hovering between minus 2... Uh, minus 2.9 and minus 2.2. .2. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Whether it's the distance that it's traveling and that's adding some cash in or what? I, I, I don't really know. There, minus 2.9 and then back to minus 2.2. .2. So quite why it's jumping between those two, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Whether it's trying to like run advanced calculations on this or something. Uh, um, I'm at a bit of a loss on that one, to be honest. Quite why it's doing that. But anyway... Now we're on minus 4 million. In he comes to the station and there we have just turned a profit. I've got another 30 odd people jumped on board the train. Yes, it's like a broke even type profit. But if it's done it once, it's going to do it again and it's going to keep doing it. It's going to keep sort of building this up. And we're on $185 million in total, which means that very, very soon we are going to be able to go and buy our four trains. So we've got um, Ivelios, Jamie O'Connell coming back. Uh, sorry, Charles Ivelios and Jamie O'Connell coming back. And then we need a new one as well. And that will be our new trains racing up and down the track all brands no i've got charles right here i'm i'm sitting in charles right as we speak uh four new trains is what we're going to want i'm going to need four new trains so i'm going to need ivelios and jamie o'connell to come back and then we're going to want two more two more after that you're going to jump into there you're minus 2.2 .2 million again now and there you've just about broken even only 10 people is that all you got is 10 people sure how we should go about doing this like he's, he's he doesn't seem to be a particularly profitable train does he 10 people down here i don't know whether he's going faster or slower than the other two it's like he's he's constantly trying to catch up with them they've gone ahead maybe they're taking longer in the stations they've got more people to load up or something i, I don't quite know and now i've got 14 people on here we're on minus 1.4 million minus just under a million and on we go a bit more. We're still minus... Uh, we're still 183, so I'm still not quite enough money to get what I want. Now, keep in mind that I do have the loan is draining away a little bit of our funding, but it shouldn't be making that much of a difference. Definitely shouldn't be making that much of a difference. I'm thinking maybe we want to go for a road. Right, that, that might make a, a an improvement. There's some extra people to come on board. So I've just gone past that train there, just coming out of Tokyo, which means there's not going to be very many people here in Tokyo for us to load up our train. So there we go. We've now we've only got 25 people here. I, I mean, I need to wait longer, don't I? This is what we need to do. Is we need we need to wait longer. I'm going to let it get down near the next station, and then I'm going to stop it, and. Let a little bit of time go by for the other trains to, like, do something. And then we can carry this one on again, and hopefully that will... You know, actually, I don't need to worry about that. I, I don't need to worry about it, because I've reached 192 million right there. I have enough to buy my trains. I have enough now to buy my trains. 192 million. So I want to go to the Tokyo Train Depot over here. I want to go to buy vehicles. We want you, add, and I want four of those. Like that. 190 million 200,000. We're going to put those in there like that. And I'm going to put some names on them. 
We got Ivelios and Jamie O'Connell have come back, and then we've also got Miss Pelt and Nigel Pipe are being added to the mix as well. They're all going to have a lovely uh, coat. Fortune smiles upon the industrious. Your tireless commitment is bearing fruit. The trains whoosh by at maximum speed across the region, and the countryside is blossoming like the cherry trees in spring. And that's all we needed to do. It took long enough to get to it, to get those last few trains there, but that was actually all we needed to do. Okay, we'll return to the main menu, and we will get the next mission. By the Black Sea, in the last third of the 20th century. Under the leadership of Nicolae Ceausescu, the Socialist Republic of Romania is supposed to evolve into a model nation within the Eastern Bloc. Those who busily join in and help to multiply the achievements of the Socialist Revolution shall soon secure themselves a position in the Politburo of the Central Committee. Okay. Um, we want a model nation. Long live the Conducator, the genius of the Carpathians, the Titan of Titans, our God on Earth. Long live his wife, Dr. Elena, the loving mother of the nation. You are one of the presidential couple's closest trusted advisors. And you fulfill their every wish. For the good of the people. For the good of the Republic. With firm steps, the Conducator shall stride forward on the ascent to the wondrous pinnacles of communism on the path to the golden dream of our people. The foremost servant of the fatherland shall escort the country to the height of its industrial development. The targeted expansion of key industries will lead to increasing prosperity for the whole population. While Western Europe suffers from the oil crisis, Romania's refineries shall never stand still. Of course, solely thanks to the diplomatic skill of our beloved Conducator. Deliver crude oil to the refinery for our very first task. I don't know what else we're going to have to do. So what do we got? We got Bucharest over here. We have got Alexandria over this side. We've got uh, the Bucharest oil well, the Alexandria oil well, Bucharest steel mill. Uh, canal construction site over there. I'm assuming there's going to be a canal going from here through to the ocean. The oil refinery port, Galati oil report, Constanza, uh, Constanza port, Constanza export, Galati, Gal uh, Gal Galati or Gal Galati? Uh, G Galati maybe. Uh, Galati marble quarry and the Constanza chemical plant. So we have a number of different items around. I'm assuming that we are going to have to be getting oil delivered over to here at some point. I don't quite know when. Uh, if we're building a canal through here, whether or not we're going to have to have ships in here. We've got an oil refinery port right there. So I'm wondering about that. We've got to supply the oil refinery. Which would be that one right there. I need to get oil delivered to there. And then there's going to be boats going to there. The oil, the only oil we've got right now is that up there. Now there's all roads on this one at the moment. Whether we try to set this up with trains or whether we stick with roads, I'm not sure. And the thing is, roads are easier. Roads are definitely easier, but trains have got the capacity or the potential to like deliver an the whole glorious lot more. oak of scorny chest the proudest fir tree the trophy of our nation's people our beloved conducator loves hunting and every animal yearns to be hunted down by him and no other are you sure about that 
Keep an eye out that the country's hunter-in-chief reaches the hunting grounds he favors without delay, and see to it that an appealing target awaits him there too. Connect the marked areas with roads, plant trees, and find a bear. That would be a bear. I need to plant trees and find a bear. And I need to connect the marked areas with roads. There's... You didn't see anything. You didn't see nothing. And that would be another bear. Okay, so we've, we've found the bear. You didn't see anything. This is the bear. That is a bear behind. And that right there is the bear that is longing to be shot by the Condicator. Uh, not quite sure why it's got dreams of um, being slaughtered by a Condicator. I'm, I, I'm sure, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the case. So Alexandria or Bucharest. I'm, I'm thinking what we want. We got $300 million here. So we, we've got a reasonable amount of cash to splash around, play with. So we go in here and we have a look. We've got single lane roads for some of this. Four lane. No, let's go with the medium street on here. We won't. I'm not going to upgrade anything. I'm not going to do the the one way systems on anything yet. It takes a bit of planning to get the one way systems. Construction not possible. There's something with a mission on that one right there and so the same with that one these over here we can upgrade yeah move them one will be moved one will be destroyed and that one those two can't be changed we won't worry about those and then we'll come over to alexandria as well and 12 buildings are going to be moved mostly moved mostly moved that's looking pretty good right there so I'll, I'll leave those bits for a minute and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go with that one the straight road and i'm going to go along here and i'm going to connect that one up so that one forms a loop there i'm also going to form a loop that one's going to go in a straight line there like that this one is going to go there like that's going to form a straight line and then i'm going to remove a bit off the end so that we've just got that kind of loop over to there that's pretty good i want one more loop over this side form that actually that's not lining up straight is it it's getting it to line up dead straight that's not straight how do I get it to line up perfectly straight? Because it snap it it snaps to the end. It automatically snaps to the end on there. So if if I get rid of that a minute, I can't get rid. I don't want to get rid of that one then. So I'm going to need to go back over to here and just extend that one out a little bit. There, see it it goes automatically straight there if you do that. And then I can come over to here, and I can bring that one out. And I thought it was going to go to like an automatic 90 degree angle on there. I'm bringing that down. Uh, doesn't seem to be going to an automatic 90 degree angle. I'll drop it to there. That's, that's, that's close enough, I would say. And I'll get rid of that bit there so that we've just got that loop coming out. And that's fine on there. I like that. Then I want to come over to here and I want to do something similar with some of these roads as well. So like that one there, I want to bring out like that. And I want to join you in there again. Some of it is not quite straight, but it's close enough. Like you right there. I'll bring you out there. That one will go out that way. This one here is going to go up to there. And it's going to bridge that bit as well. And then we can come over to here. And you're going to do something similar. I'm going to 
going to go to there and there like that. That one's going to go there. I won't join those down there. Okay, so that way I've got a series of loops around at Bucharest as well. It's going to just, like, help the city to grow out a little bit. That one, I will also do a loop on there. I won't do it. I'm not going to do anything else too much on these. I will actually, I'll extend that one out. I'll extend that road there. That one can go, actually, it's not going to do that. It's going to go here like this. It's going to go that far. And then it's going to go up there like that. And then it's going to join those two like that. So it sort of steps up round. There. It's a little bit uneven, but I, I kind of like that. And then we've, we've at least got a little bit of a loop on there as well. Right. Next, I wanted to have a road that connected these two cities. And I was thinking large road. We'll go with the four lane road on that, but... Do I want to do that? We're in the set. We're in, we are in 70. So I think that we could, we would be all right for doing this. So if I upgrade that one there to a large four lane and that one to a large four lane, then I'll go to that road there and I will join you in there like that. That's dead level roads. It's like a dead level plane all the way along. So I've got the two roads now are connected up. Then we're going to go out over this way. So we've got a small country road there. And that's one way. So I want small country road to come out of here. And that one is simply going to go out this way. Build a forest road. So this small country road is going to come out over to here. And connect to there. Keep an eye out in the countryside to, to connect the marked areas with roads. So I've... I can connect them over like this. Bring you out round like that, I guess. Okay, I don't like it like that. There, that's what I want to do. I want to kind of have it looped like that a little bit. And then loop it over to here. Like that. That's one area connected. And then... The road will loop up that way and run through here and then it will run up to there like that. So I've I've connected the areas with roads. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna connect it on a little bit further. I'm gonna bring you out over this way like that. So I, d I don't need to do any more. I, I absolutely don't need to do any more to complete this mission. But what I would like to do is I'd like to bring this out. And I'd like to keep going with this road. We're going to go across this really rough area right here. I don't quite know what's been happening in here. Whether there's old mine works or something like that across this bit. But then we're going to go over there. They've had to build that up quite a bit in there to get through that bit. That's going to come back down there. And down to the bottom in there, and then it's going to come up round, and it's going to connect on there as well. So I've now got a proper loop right the way round the three of them, and then all i got to do is plant a few trees, and that's the easy bit. So we want to go to assets in there, we want to scroll up through... No, uh, wait, what's that? Uh, mixed trees... Elderberry, common hazel, Scots pine, shingle, oak, red delicious apple, European linden, sugar, maple. I don't think we got sugar maple in Europe. I could be wrong. We might have sugar maple in Europe. Right. We want a bigger brush like this. And then I want to plant a few trees. Around these areas. Very there we go. good. The bear hunt can begin. Today, our esteemed conducator will surely shoot the proudest specimen in the whole country. I have absolutely no doubt that he will. It will be the most marvellous bear the world has ever seen. And it will be dead. So it's not quite so marvellous anymore. Hmm. Slight problem there, isn't there?
Right, anyway, uh, I'm thinking that we are going to go with a train this time. I don't usually go with the train. I normally go with a different option. But I'm, I'm kind of liking the idea of doing a train. So in order to do train, first up, we're going to go around. I'm going to do a couple of upgrades. So I want to upgrade this to a slightly better quality road. It doesn't have to be a brilliant road, but I'm going to do that on each of these. I'm going to upgrade these on the oil wells and the others so that I can bring those roads out, extend them and do other things with them if I want to. We don't need the four-lane roads coming along here. I can build four-lane roads going elsewhere on them if I need to. All right, I'll put that out onto there. And then over here on this port as well, that's going to be the two-lane road and you over there as well. Right, so there's a whole load of two-lane roads on those bits. I do want to connect these with roads. So we're going to connect with two lane road. I'm actually thinking now that we could upgrade all of this to two lane road, right? Two lane country roads out around there. And we can use this as well going up through here. So we'll go from there. We will take that one and I'll extend this out. This is going to go through the mountains down this way and i'm going to go and connect those two up there we've got a little tiny bridge that goes through there that's wrong you wouldn't have a bridge for that would you so get rid of that and that over to that side and we'll do that again i yeah see i i don't think that a bridge going over something like that actually fits like the narrative of this story or the like the feel of this map that the bridge just felt wrong the uh, bridge the tunnel the tunnel felt wrong going under there so we'll do it like this instead connect that we've got just a little bit of a road that goes yeah, that's, that's better that's that's how i sort of picture it would be and then we want to go from here that one's going to go straight out like that and it's going to join onto this one over here. Now, we don't technically need a road if I'm going to be doing trains. However, being able to connect that to a road network of some kind, I feel is a beneficial thing. So we're going to leave it like that. I'm not going to do any changes on it for a minute. We'll leave it exactly as it is. And then we're going to go here into the train stations. We'll go with standard tracks rather than the expensive tracks this time round. And we're going to want to go with buildings first. We've got a passenger station, passenger terminus, cargo station, cargo terminus. Now, terminus I think is best up this end. And from there we then have a normal uh, through station there. And we'll put a terminus down at this one over here. I was just wondering if we should be going with the high speed or with the standard speed. Now, this is cargo trains, it's not passenger trains. So, standard would probably be best. All right, if we have a cargo terminus station right there looking at about 100, uh, you know, 200,000 ish. If I go with the high speed track, it's not a lot different, though, is it? Like, that, uh, that's an extra 50,000. But it's not a. It's not a huge amount different. Not really. So what about the vehicles that we've got? Is there a way that we can see the vehicles that we have of it? Vehicle stats. Right, that's, uh, that, that's not the bit that I want. I want to be able to see the, the vehicles that I've got available. I, I can't buy them because I don't... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea, if you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.